distance. And what I noticed was social distancing was near impossible. As you know, um, a lot of travelers, and I'm talking about even seasoned travelers, are very reluctant to fly. A lot of airlines are on their knees right now because they can't attract passengers. And just quickly, a lot of airlines, including the two big ones here in Canada, Air Canada West, Jet, are even <laughs> selling the middle seat to passengers. Is there anything you can say based on the information you have to reassure the traveling public that it is safe to fly? And is there anything you can say to airlines that to, to reassure passengers uh, to come back into the skies? Thank you. So thanks, thanks for this question. It's, it's uh, it, again, is one that we receive quite a lot. Um, we are working with um, IATA and the travel and tourism industry and to look at how we can have safe and confident uh, resumption of travel. Um, again, there are a number of considerations that need to be, that need to be uh, taken by individuals who fly, um, by the uh, leaving every every part from leaving your home through going to the airport and the the physical distancing and the measures that need to be taken at airports through when you board the plane during that flight and then when when you arrive and we're working with our partners to to come up with and to issue guidance and we have recently issued guidance around this and and continue to work with IATA and others on how to do this safely. Um, there, it is difficult to do physical distancing on, on, on aircraft, of course, um, but there are other measures that may be put in place, and we need to follow the guidance that is put out by the airline that you choose to travel, uh, whether this is wearing uh, masks while you're traveling, a fabric mask or a medical mask, depending on, on who you are, um, and some are, are offering other different types of measures, but it's following the guidance of what is being put out there. Um, but I think this reluctance or this hesitancy, I think, is, is normal to feel that. But I think there are ways in which the resumption of travel will happen safely. Um, we also need to consider where an individual is traveling from to where an individu individual is traveling to. Um, and look at the transmission intensity in those different areas. And then as an individual, um, I think you've heard Mike say before, if something doesn't feel safe, and it probably isn't safe. So there are decisions that individuals need to make um, when you leave your home and when you, when you choose to do things. But there are measures that you can put in place in keeping your distance while you're at airports, wearing a mask if you're on board a plane, but following that, that guidance through the duration of your travel. Thank you, Dr. Van Kerkhove. Dr. Ryan, is there anything you'd like to add? No, okay. Uh, so the next